I'm from South Africa. Hello, my name is Miki. I'm from South Korea. Hi, my name is Shauna and I'm from the Bahamas. Welcome, Welcome to Tema! Tema is the largest seaport in the Republic of Ghana. Crew members were excited to return to Tema, where the ship last visited six years ago, in 2010. At the official opening, the guest of honor, Her Excellency Mrs. Matilda Anisa Arthur, wife of the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, expressed her personal excitement at the return of the Logos Hope to Tema, and offered a welcome gift of local chocolates for the children living on the ship. Following the program, she opened the book fair to the public, and spent time selecting a variety of books for her own family. Throughout the ship's month here in Tema, many visitors were welcome on board for events and crew members were also sent out into the community for a variety of outreaches. One event, called 113, welcomed juvenile prisoners and their prison guards onto the ship. Crew members were able to interact with them through music, dance, and team building activities to show them that regardless of their past, they are still special and deserve to be treated with love. In another event, kings and queens of local tribes came for a program with worship, cultural performances, and the opportunity to interact with others from their area. Other crew members went out into the community. Some visited schools where they talked about their countries, performed dramas, and shared their stories. Other teams visited local ships and spent time with seafarers from other vessels. Crew members were able to connect as they shared about their own experiences at the sea. When Lachim was sent one and a half hours drive outside the city to the Volta region to help the Stickies Foundation with an event for youth. The Logos Hope team was excited to see over 1,000 children already gathered when they arrived at the school. As the children crowded around, crew members introduced themselves and the countries they came from, performed dramas to teach life lessons, and sang fun, interactive songs. Following the program, the team donated 30 water purifiers to be used at rural schools which lacked access to clean water. Pairs of The Shoe That Grows were also given and will benefit nearly 100 local children. Hello, my name is Gideon Debra, the founder and president of Destiques Foundation. The vision, aim or goal of Destiques Foundation is to provide accessible, sustainable and quality education to children in the rural regions of Ghana. We are able to meet their needs psychologically and physically because we provide them with basic amenities that can help them to be in school. These children feel inferior um, in, uh, in relation to the children who are in the urban cities because they lack things like computers, internet, school bags, stationery and every basic thing that we, they need to help them go to school. We are so thankful to the Logos for the donation that they made to the children in the Volta region of Ghana. We thank you Logos Hope for coming around to interact with the children and making them feel the love of God and making them feel valued. Thank you and God bless you. Another highlight we had during our time here in Ghana was the arrival of the new PhD. Earlier in the month, people from 37 countries flew to Ghana to spend two and a half weeks in intensive training. At this pre-ship training, they prepared for ship life by learning things like new ministry skills and how to respond in an emergency at sea. After graduating from their training, the hundred new crew members traveled to Tema and were welcomed with great excitement onto the ship. Thank you for praying for the ship's visit to Tema. We are really encouraged to hear the positive stories how the ship's visit has impacted communities and individuals. We'd also like to thank all of our local partners that helped to make the ship's visit possible and all of the local volunteers that served with us for the entire month that the ship was open to the public. We also would like to thank our supporters around the world who have helped us to make this visit to Tema possible. Please continue to pray for us as we sail to our next Ghanaian port.